reading from the first epistle of John. See what love the Father has bestowed on us in letting us be called children of God. Yet that is what we are. Dearly beloved, we are God's children now. What we shall later be has not yet come to light. We know that when it comes to light, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We rejoice this day, for we are the children of God. We have been bought with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. We have been baptized with Christ. And now we join in the chorus of angels with the Blessed Virgin Mary to adore the Holy Trinity. Yes, we are God's children. We are blessed indeed. Our hearts should be full of joy. Then we must ask ourselves, what about those individuals who do not believe in God? We know that we are called to share the gospel, but we also know we must do so through love, gentleness, and compassion. In order to help us in our journey of offering the gospel to others, I offer you the words of Thomas Merton, who lived from 1915 to 1968. He was a Roman Catholic Trappist monk, priest, and mystic. He was also a social justice advocate and a studier of the world's religions. Here is a quote from Thomas Merton. Do not be too quick to condemn the man who no longer believes in God, for it is perhaps your own coldness and avarice, and mediocrity, and materialism, and selfishness that has chilled his faith. Those are difficult words to hear. As the children of God, I hope that we do our best to always be loving and merciful. And yet, at times in our life, our own actions or words may have led someone to become estranged from the faith, to walk away. Sometimes we're aware that we have done this, and other times we have no idea. We can't change what has happened in the past, but oh, we can be so very careful to find our feet firmly upon the rock of the love and mercy of Jesus Christ. We must be careful that when we meet those who do not believe, that we do not seek to push our faith on them, but rather with gentleness and love, we invite them to experience God with us. When we are kind, they experience a kind God. When we are giving, they experience God giving to them. When we speak in love, they hear the voice of God as a voice of love and acceptance, not hatred. May we do our best to proclaim the gospel at all times in words and deeds. But may we also be careful to heed the vice of Thomas Merton, to make sure that we're not cold or ugly, that we're not mediocre or selfishness, but rather we offer the love of Jesus in complete humility. If we do this, my dear friends, then others will see God's love and light shining through us, and they too will come to believe in God, who is love. Amen. Through all eternity, O Lord, your promise stands unshaken. Through all eternity, O Lord, your promise stands unshaken. Your faithfulness will never fail your people. Through all eternity, O Lord, your promise stands unshaken. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Through all eternity, O Lord, your promise stands unshaken. 